uh, each character can easily dominate just as much as the top tier characters. That's very, very true. I mean, some people have more difficulty than others, but everyone has that ability. I understand the hate for Jago as he probably, as he, as he probably the most balanced champ ever created. Well, the thing is, he's he's balanced for a reason. He doesn't have that many utilities as other characters. He has his normals, which other people have normals. He has his anti airs, which most of the cast have a great anti air, whether it's invincibility frames or not. And he has manuals, which again the whole cast has, but his manuals you can almost do universal for the reason of being that his ut utilities are very very basic so they give the player something so you can be extremely creative it's not overwhelming it's very creative and then it's up to the player to see how many things that you can mix up very similar to other characters you know if it wasn't for any manuals jake would be extremely mediocre and basically nobody would play him that that that's like the sad truth I mean, I would definitely play him still, but like all that creativeness gone, eh. I'd, I'd probably have more fun playing Spinal, to be honest. Nice. Oh no. What is going on? What was that? It looked like an incoming rage quit, but it wasn't. That was lame. That was super lame. Oh my goodness. And because of that, I'm gonna lose all that health. Yikes. That's not some way you want to play a match. No way, man. That's really undesirable. That sucks, man. That, I'm sorry. That really sucks. That just completely ruined my whole momentum there. All because of the stability of the uh, of the online game. Yikes. That's lame. I can see that. I can see that making people rage quit. That was really lame. that stupid lag thing on my mind. <laughs> That was a sloppy match. Oh, and it all started with that with the whole game just freezing up because I thought something either the player was getting disconnected or somebody was leaving. When that happens, it's like, oh, I do not want to play in that match anymore. Like let's if there was like a restart button, okay, you know what? This would be amazing. If if basically if something like that happens, there would be a prompt that would show up and be like, Would you guys like to restart the match? It would be like a vote, basically, right? Be like, okay, yeah, something happened. Give us the option to restart the match and do it over. That would be amazing. And if the same thing happens again, give them another prompt saying, do you want to restart or do you want to leave the match? You know what I mean? At least give them like the option because stuff like that happens. Ugh, that sucks. And and that was a complete, you know, deal maker. That was a complete change around, you know, in momentum right there. They com it killed my momentum and he gave him a huge opportunity and, and Basically, the match went on for way longer. Stuff like that, it really is nasty. 
Grimm's Vengeance says, Jago is the easiest character and best in the game to use. Well, Stanky, let me tell you something, man. It's the, it, I'll tell you what, it's easier saying characters are the easiest and best to use in the game. But actually performing it in front of everybody, it's, it's a whole different story. I know a lot of people, I know tons of people, trust me, Stanky, I know tons of people say that. The same thing, the same thing. But hey, guess what? There's other people that say Saberwolf is the easiest in the game. There's other people that say Sadir is the easiest people in the game. Everyone has their own opinions. But basically what they're really trying to tell you is this character gives me problems. And you just got to dissect it, man. Don't take it. And try not to take it as an insult. They're actually really telling you that they have a personal issue with that character. As in it just gives them problems. It's hard for them to win against that character. You know what I mean? That's basically it. And saying any character is, is easy to play and best to use in the whole game, you know, it, again, can also be another insult to a lot of players because, you, again, you're discrediting a lot of players for that for that quote. That's why it's just not bold to say anything like that, you know what I mean? It's just not. It's very, very, it's very rude, in my opinion. You gotta give everybody credit. You know, the moment you start saying this character is too easy, it's like, damn. So I guess you're, you know, you're taking every single piece of hard work everyone has put, you know, like their heart and soul, into one character, into becoming good at the game, and just basically throwing it in the trash and just saying that, you know, they they can just play on autopilot. The character does the rest. It's not cool, man. I remember when people were saying that Thunder was was easy. I'm like, are you guys kidding? Thunder requires so much patience. So much calculated decisions, you know what I mean? It's just, it's kind of ridiculous. But, you know, I don't blame, I don't blame anybody for thinking that way. I mean, if they have personal issues with that character and they have a hard time trying to beat that character and they don't understand, some people take the high road, some people take the low road. What's up, Crazy Horse? How are you, man? That's very interesting, Stanky, though. It is. I don't understand how you were patient enough for this guy. Each time I go against him, he just runs away. Well, Ryu, if if you can manage to train yourself with that kind of patience, who knows what will that actually spark with other players? You know what I mean? If you play against the most patient person in the whole world and you play against other characters, you will feel like you'll feel like you're playing the game in slow motion. You'll feel like you'll have more options. You'll feel like you can think even more. You know, it really rewards you big time when you get used to it so when you play like super super rush down it's it, you have even more patience for it you you don't tend to you know choke as much you don't tend to you know be hesitant you can choose your decisions even if you get punished you can be like it's okay i got a lot of time left i got another setup i got another wake up it'll be fine can we get some shadow jago of course you can of course you can. Fulgore easy to play? <laughs> Troll face. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hmm. Thanks. Alright, so. What else do we have here? But yeah. Like, honestly, anybody that says any character is easy to play, it's, it's like, again, you know, like, just, it's just another thing someone says that, that's basically it, you know what I mean? Like, it, it doesn't, usually a lot of people can't even provide any kind of evidence, can't even go in depth. They just kind of say, this character is so-and-so, and that's it, bam, done. End of story, close the book, drop the mic. That's it, you know what I mean? And it's just like, cool, you look like another tool that decided to discredit a lot of players and not to go in depth to show people some of your own concerns about the character you know what i mean it's like good job that's why you know if anyone has any questions about a character jago whatever that's why i invite you guys to ask ask anything you like you know if you're afraid of you know you're getting beat up by something you really think this is op feel free to ask there, there are tons and tons of options tons of ways to get around a lot of the nasty setups in this game you know you just got to be brave enough and be committed enough to go in depth that way everybody learns all together and basically the end result you get way 
way more epic matches. Extremely hype matches because people know the game inside out and then it gives the, it gives the guys a good show. Definitely. What's up, Turbo Ant? Yeah, we're we're having a great discussion right now with uh, actually very similar from the past, talking about OP characters or people that think uh, some characters are easy to use and they're they're the best to use. Oh, nice! Empty jump throw. That was an interesting setup. Oh, he could have had that. He could have had it. Grims, is Iron Galaxy going to nerf you? I don't know. <laughs> As in, like, cut off my fingers? Nah, I doubt it. Grims, you need to be nerfed. You're OP. <laughs> Dude, seriously, like, what I'm going to do from now on, because it's, it, it's, it's been getting out of hand, seriously. Like, anybody that I invite in my lobby, and if I see them win, or I see them beat people up, I'm immediately either going to say, that character is OP, or Jago's OP. Done. If I see Gutter, if Gutter's in my room and he like beats everybody with Thunder, I'm gonna be like, Gutter, you make Jiggle look OP. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, Tenebris, I hope so too, man. I really hope so too. I hope I'm saying your, uh, your name right, Tenebris. Tenebris. Thank you so much. my last note that i want to uh talk about this this sort of subject uh with my last sentence because I, I really don't want to keep talking about this because again like it does get on my nerves after a while because a lot of people just let, let the game get to them and then they end up taking the road of discrediting a lot of players because of their own frustration that gets like that, that's really frowned upon so as my final statement everybody in this game is easy to moderate uh to use for the first time but every single character in this game, extremely hard to master. And if anybody's bold enough to say this character is easy, that character is easy, takes no work this, takes no work that, without explaining anything, then I sure as hope, I sure as hope to hell that you can prove that or else you look like a tool and that has absolutely no kind of uh, uh, value in this chat room. That's for damn sure. Everybody that's good in this game is good at this game, period. You know, anybody, everyone, Justin Wong, you got KDD, you got Rico, you got fucking, uh, who else? You got I Distort, you got Stanky, you got Gutter. They're all great at this game because they worked their asses off. They learned some of the counters. They put the time through, you know, like looking through the frames. You know, they, they spent a lot of time trying to figure out some setups. Bam. They are good because they're good. Grims, who do you want for Season 2 characters? Tusk. I definitely want Tusk. Grims, I know Jago is your main, but do you ever play with any other character? Uh, I, I actually used to. I played with a lot of Spinal. Spinal was actually one of the characters that almost made me switch my main. And then I played Fulgore, which I thought another character was going to switch my main, but I learned fast that he was not my type of character. But I had a lot of fun with him. Kowalski. Oh my god, yeah. Kowalski. Jesus, man. Can't forget about Kowalski. Can you imagine somebody actually saying Spinal's too easy to use when they watch Kowalski play? Oh my goodness. That is like the worst insult ever. <laughs> oh, is he here? Uh, we'll wait for him. Oh, he's here. Okay. Ow. Oh man, I don't know if I can get full meter. No, I can't. Oh, barely, barely. Yeah, I miss Kowalski. Where has he been? I think he tried playing a couple games, but I think he's doing other things now. Okay. Oh, missed. Oh, Cero Uno. That's zero one. I didn't think he was going to do another one. <laughs> 